Hello, everyone. Welcome to the annual Guess in the AP U.S. History DBQ topic. Now, remember, this is just a guess. I don't have any prior knowledge about what the topic might be. The first thing we can do is eliminate some topics and time periods because we know the College Board is not going to have the DBQ in those eras. So the first two we can eliminate is periods one and two, so 1491 to 1754. And the last one we can eliminate is period nine, 1980 to present. However, there was one year where a small amount of the prompt actually went into a little bit of period nine. So the possible topics and time periods that the DBQ might come from include periods three through eight, so 1754 to 1980, and the topics would be from the CED, or course and exam description. I put a link to the CED below in the video information. Next, let's take a look at some of the recent prompts from the past test the last few years. It is somewhat unlikely they would choose a prompt that's exactly the same or the same topic as a recent exam. So some of those include the progressive movement fostering political change, causes of the expanding role in wor world affairs, change of ideas about American independence, causes of the women's rights movement, and the rise of conservatism. However, I wouldn't totally rule out these topics not showing up on the exam because last year there were several different DBQs and variations on those DBQs with different documents and everything. So this year, we know that there are three different testing dates and different formats, the paper and the online version. And I'm betting for both versions, there's gonna be several different prompts possible for the DBQ and the paper exam, and also several different prompts for the online exam. And they're not gonna repeat from the first version to the second version to the third version. So I'm betting there's gonna be somewhere between five and 10 DBQ prompts and probably even more variations with them too. What I'm trying to say is it's kind of pointless to predict the DBQ prompt. There's going to be so many different prompts and variations with those prompts because of all those different versions of the test. But before I let you go, I want to say good luck in the test. This year has been very difficult on students and teachers. Hopefully, if you've worked hard throughout the year through these difficult circumstances, you can get the big payoff of doing well in the test and those college credits. And for those of you that haven't worked hard this year and it's been very difficult on you, there still is time to cram for the test and still pull out a good score. So good luck. Okay, if you're still here, here are my predictions. The first one, I think one of the DBQs is gonna be about the early government. And a possible prompt could be, evaluate the extent to which debates about the role of the federal government led to division within the United States. Confine your answer from 1781 to 1804. We haven't seen that topic on a DBQ in a very, very long time. And it's a really good topic. My next guess is, is another topic that we've barely seen much on the DBQs and actually an AP test in general in the last several years, and that is the Great Depression and New Deal. Here's a possible, you know, shot in the dark prompt that it might be. Evaluate the extent to which the Great Depression and New Deal marked a turning point in the relationship between the government, economy, and the people. Again, these are just guesses. I have no idea what might be on the AP test, but I just wanted to give my prediction. All right, have a good one.